Welcome back to It's All About Health, the TV version. Doug Miles and Robin Lynn with you tonight, sitting in for Rochelle Herman. We're over at uh, 1220 WIBQ, in case you're new to uh, this program or don't know who we are. Uh, I do a show uh, every day, 10 to noon, and Robin is on that with me. She's the entertainment reporter <laughs> and kind of added a new uh, yeah. feather to her cap last night. We went over uh, to the Devil Rays game, and you had a chance to do something very few women get to do, go into the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> How did you like that? Speaking of, it's all about health. Uh, very, very healthy men. It's all about health, yeah. <laughs> the baseball players are very healthy, that's for sure. <laughs> You're in good shape, right? So no, we had a very good time. Yeah. I had a great time at the Devil Rays. I'm starting to do a lot of sports reporting with uh, News Talk 1220. And uh, I got in the locker room and did an interview or two, and... It was exciting. I was the only female reporter in the place. I thought there might be a couple of other women writers in the Tampa Bay area, but there weren't any covering the game last night, so you were no, in it. I was in. Very shocking, How was that, actually. though? I mean, going in, were you a little uncomfortable? Because I asked you. I didn't want you to I, you know, go in there if you felt uncomfortable. But how did you feel? I was a little nervous. A little, you know, a little nervous going in there being the only female. Mm -hmm. But, you know, no, I, I was used, used to it. You know, having people right. walk around while they're taking their showers and all that. <laughs> but, but you being the only woman in there, it was a little, it was a little strange, wasn't it? It, it, was, it was okay. I, I was nervous at going in, and then I got there, and I was very comfortable. We went in, and we talked to the owner, which was good, and uh, he made me feel very And Joe Madden, we got to talk to him. Right, and Joe nice Madden, guy, which was a very good interview that we um, did, and he was very happy and in good spirits because, of course, they won over the Detroit they won Tigers. They last night, right? They pretty much beat them all the way around. Tigers came back a little bit in the last inning, scored a couple of runs, but uh, Casey Fossum, who uh, we talked to, you talked yeah, to as well. We did. Casey Fossum, uh, we interviewed, and he talked to us, and I think he felt very good. He talked a little bit about the trades and uh, what's going on with the team, and uh, he got a really great opportunity to go against the Tigers, and I think he did a great job. We'll see how they do against the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox coming up this weekend. And uh, we are going to be there. We're going, going to be live. Uh, Friday night? We're going, we're to, going to go game. to the Friday game right. and uh, check that out. So we'll see. But you're going to be yeah. covering sports for us at the station more frequently now, too. Because you right. did that. Uh, we mentioned <laughs> last time Robin was with us. So you went to UF, and you did a lot of the sports coverage there for uh, their television station. And you, Steve Spurrier, did a show with him. And I did. Covered the football. Yeah, back in the Gator days. Yeah. Back in the Gator days. The F days with Spurrier. And uh, times have changed there, but uh, no, it was a great experience. I know it was college experience, but it was fun. And, uh, you know, one of the best football teams in the area at the time, oh, I mean, sure. especially sure. going up against the Seminoles. So I got to do a lot of coverage with the Channel 8 crew and Tampa crew. So it was a good experience definitely for this. I'm looking forward to doing some baseball reporting and moving into hockey. Hockey, that's, we were talking about that last night. Yeah. Hockey starting up in uh, about less than, what, two months. Actually, training camp starting about six weeks with the Lightning. So uh, we'll have some fun doing that. But I just wondered, though, uh, just, uh, you don't see too many women covering sports. Uh, you see some on television. You don't see a lot in radio. Uh, something you were interested in doing, though, in addition to uh, what right. you've done, entertainment reporting and, and, and news reporting as well, right? You know what I think got me into it was doing the boat races, to be honest with you, because those men are athletes in their own right. I mean, they and women that are racers. They have to train. They have to have endurance. And covering that and doing the play-by-play -play with the sports guys and, you know, following the sports team, uh, doing that year after year has really gotten me into wanting to do sports more. So. I look forward to that. Yeah, I do. Fun. I'm looking yeah. forward to the game on Friday. Very good. So. Yeah. Just got a couple minutes left in the program. Of course, Robin joins us on the uh, Friday edition of the Suncoast Magazine over at 1220 with uh, Entertainment Report. And uh, I tell you, there's a lot of news <laughs> going on just then today. Poor Mel Gibson. <laughs> Tough situation for him. I, uh, uh, I think everybody kind of knows you know, what shocking. he said. But how do you think this is going to affect uh, his career? Uh, long term, short term, not too bad. What do you think? I think long term. You really think so? I think so. Well, that's my gut instinct. I mean, yeah. I, you, you never know in Hollywood. I mean, people come back, but I think it's going to hurt him for a little bit. I know he was going to do a miniseries, mm -hmm. ironically enough, about the Holocaust. I think ABC was looking to do that. And obviously, with his remarks now, pro, uh, yeah. ABC's dropped it. They said they didn't. Uh, they wanted to pass on it, which makes a lot of sense. But uh, so anyway, that's what's going on. Well, join us for Friday. I'm sure uh, you're going to have a lot more updates on I that. Do. She joined us every Friday, 10:30. Have to tune in. Yeah. To News Talk 12:20 on Friday. Robin, I'm glad you made it through <laughs> the gate today. They